Hi everybody. No, this isn't a build video. I just have it on in the background because for some reason if I make a video it just feels more at ease if I have the building noises in the background. Anyway, you people have been busting my balls, so here we are. The magic of, gosh gosh, 2021 recap. Started off with a beautiful flight out of Oakland. Those are the Oakland Hills above the marine layer. Mount Diablo in the background, just so pretty. Uh, dodged a couple of thunder bumpers. Stopped in St. Louis so that I could take a leak. And then heading up to Milwaukee. Gathered supplies. The only thing that you really need when you're in Wisconsin is the spotted cow and headed up to the show. So every year I stay with uh, my first CFI, Debbie, her husband and uh, friends just north of the field by Basler. It's great. We're right on the downwind for 2.7. It's fantastic. And uh, it's always good to see them. And here's what I love about Air Venture. You just walk in, and before you even get to the gate, classic jets. Classic jets, mind you, that flew in. Uh, made my way over to the van's Monday morning announcements. Got our best uh, Steve Jobs impersonation here. And yeah, they announced the new RV, which I will reserve judgment for. I mean, I will, of course, judge it harshly. Uh, but I will do that privately. <laughs> Uh, what else do we love about Oshkosh? Yeah, just, you know, you are surrounded by history. Everywhere. Everywhere you look. Just on the pavilion, there's, oh yeah, there's a Sabre Jet, Corsair, Mustang, of course, on one spot. Now, here's the subject, air cams. I try never to go into them because I don't like to fanboy out, but I love air cams. Yeah. Uh, I also love running into people that, uh, that know me, so had about... I'd say on an average about five to six people a day that came up to me. They're like, hey, I recognize your voice. Are you from YouTube? And we started talking. And that includes uh, seeing an old friend, Paul, here, who just heard me from nowhere. He used to be a CFI at our club. And including some of you guys. Uh, Tim, I met Tim, nice young man with his family in one of the exhibition halls. Tim builds F-35s. gave me this. That is awesome. Look, I might be building a plane, but I'm not building one of those planes. So, yeah, Tim, that was that was really cool. Okay, so uh, the award for a uh, company that might need a re that is in most need of a rebranding is this. I was just staring at that little Zatabria, thinking, "Oh, this is pretty." And then I look up and I'm like, I start chuckling, and I thought, "Well, if I look down to the tail, at least they will have updated their symbol." <laughs> nope. Uh, me, I, I think it's hilarious. I think they should keep it. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, yeah. So I uh, went over to the Ford tent to get a new hat and saw the electric 150. Very interesting with the frunk there. And no, you can't. Here's the thing that pisses me off. All right. Rant against Ford. To Ford. What the f***? So it used to be you could go to a Ford dealer and say, listen, I need a Ford truck. Uh, I just need bare, a bare farm, basically a fleet vehicle, right? No bed liners, no this, no that, no frills, nothing. Uh, yeah, you can't do that anymore. Not unless you order like a minimum of at least 10 to 15 vehicles. I'm like, that sucks. So I'm at the Ford tent. I'm like, hey, listen, that trunk is huge, but this is still a truck. Is there any chance I can have all the plastic and crap taken out and just have like metal bed liner? Uh, no. So... It's not a truck. It's a station wagon. All right, all right, that's that's enough of the rants. So one place I went over to to talk was the Javron tent. Uh, a friend of mine knows these guys. They make Super Cub clones. That is their new four-seat sort of sportsman model. We'll uh, get back to that later. What else? Oh, of course. I mean, look, just rows of ATs. You can't you can't go anywhere without just seeing this kind of stuff everywhere. Uh, but also, Oshkosh is about the future. So here's a big old circle or hula hoop and nope. Uh, two seats, 18 motors, only goes 22 miles. I just say, you know what? I hope that, I hope giant parachutes also shoot out from under next to those things. Here we are back at the Javron place. I just wanted to show that sportsman. Look at that. Seven and a half feet of cargo space. That's all I want to say. I'll, I'll just leave my uh, obsession there. All right. I uh, can't leave without talking about the food. Here we had uh, some brat Rubens one day while we were at the Roxy waiting for 5 p.m. 
5 p.m. is when they start selling wine. So, so yeah, it was it was magic. I mean, it was great. Stopped off at uh, Milwaukee Airport on the way out. Stole all the spotted cow. All right, that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and trail on out with a video of a uh, DC-3 that's uh, pulling out. So thank you for joining me. See you soon.